Keeping up with our motto that learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure, here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning students! Today we are going to start with chapter 5, Substances in the Surrounding, Their States and Properties. Topics which I am going to cover during this session are states of substances in the surrounding and change of states of substances. So students, tell me what are the different states in which the substances occur in our surrounding? Yes, correct. Solid, liquid and gas. Picture shows the states of substances and their examples. Solids, liquids and gases. Examples of solids are hat, pencil, skateboard, table, snow, apple, bicycle, computer and a tree house. Examples of liquids are water in the pool, milk, drink, hot chocolate, juice, soup and rain. Examples of gases are wind, air inside the hot air balloon, wind from the fan, then steam coming out from the iron and fog. Change of state of substances. Let us see the definition first. When a substance changes from one state to another, the process is called change of state of substance. Let us understand this with the help of one example. As shown in the picture, a candle is there. Candle itself is in solid state. When we light up the candle, the melt, the wax starts melting. The melted wax is in the liquid state. That melted wax, when it is cooling, it again turns into solid state. So, from solid to liquid and from liquid to solid. This is the change of state. Let us take one more example. Ice cube. Ice cube is solid in state. When we take out the ice cube from the refrigerator, Gradually it starts melting. It turns into water which is in liquid state. And the water upon heating or normally also it starts evaporating. That water vapor is in the gaseous state. So here change of state is occurring from solid to liquid and then liquid to gas. So we have learned that the change in the physical state of a substance is an effect of the amount of heat in it. On gaining the heat, that means on heating, the solid turns into liquid and liquid again on heating turns into gas. On the other side, if we go in the reverse direction, when the substance is cool or loses heat, it changes from gases to liquid and then liquid to the solid state back. This picture is of the famous scientist J. Villard Gibbs. In the 19th century, he showed that the characteristic properties of a substance depend on its physical state and the arrangement of particles in it means the properties of a substance depends on two things. First is the physical state. Physical state means whether the substance is in solid, liquid or gaseous state. And the second one is arrangement of particles. In order to understand this, first we need to understand what is the meaning of particle. Students, all the substance in our surrounding, they are made up of very tiny particles. 
the tiniest one is called the atom atoms combine together to form molecule molecule means the larger particle so now let us see picture shows the arrangement of molecules or i can say the larger particles of solid liquid and gases and how this arrangement affects the properties of the substance let us see here in the solid you can see the arrangement of molecules this red circle are the molecules so the molecules are held together with the strong bonds they are tightly packed with each other they don't move very easily so solids can keep their own shape and size they retain their shape and size whereas in liquid you can see over here there is slightly gap between the molecules they are slightly apart from each other so the molecules have weaker bonds they can move around slightly or so the liquids can flow this is the reason the liquids flow because the molecules are slightly apart from each other they can't keep their shape unless they are in a container they take the shape of the container in which they are poured and finally the gases here you can see they are far apart the molecules are far apart from each other the molecules are free to move around they can spread around an open space quickly and freely gases can't keep their shape unless they are kept in a sealed container so let us summarize this solids example a piece of iron shape it has its own shape they retain their shape no matter how it is kept their shape is not changing volume solids have a definite volume solids like sugar sand when poured on a flat surface they form a heap liquids example water spirit oil shape of the liquid is not fixed they do not have their own shape they take the shape of the container and liquids they have specific volume means they occupy the definite portion of the container this spreads on a flat surface on pouring and flows downwards along a slope so their volume depends upon the situation they have a specific volume depending upon the different situation and finally the gases example is air shape they do not have a shape of its own they occupy all the available space they do not have a definite volume also on changing the pressure on the gas in a closed container its volume also changes so this is all for this session thank you so much